Okay, guys, first of all, thanks a million for taking the time to speak to us. I know it's all crazy at the moment, day and date. Um, Zach has tried to stay as closely to the novel as possible. So how did you become attached to the movie and was there an audition process? Or did he, like, these guys kind of might aesthetically resemble the characters, so... <laughs> Um, I met with Zach uh, in, in February, I think, uh, two years ago, so, and we didn't even really start shooting, I think, till September or something. I, I, and it, in a weird way, it was actually pretty, pretty easy, I, sad to say. The hardest part was just sort of sitting on the, the news of knowing it, because yeah. I would sort of, and, and once I knew uh, Jackie was up for it and other people were sort of going through it, that was really exciting to see. But um, it was it was almost sort of strange because I felt like I, I had it pretty early on, but nothing was really done, deals and all that kind of stuff. But I kept sort of calling like, oh, well, are they seeing anybody else? No, no, you have it. Well, what, can I call <laughs> someone like, when are we please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. What about you guys? Um, I actually, you know, I was uh, I was filming another, uh, doing another movie in, in New York and I put myself on tape and sent mm -hmm. that in. And um, and during the filming of this film, I went off to get married in Italy and the day of my wedding, my agent came up to me. He goes, Marlon, I know this is kind of weird to talk to you about right now, but uh, Zack Snyder really liked your tape and he would love for you to uh, come in and do an audition with him and I was like, great. And he goes, you said I yeah, do. In, uh, <laughs> and I said I do <laughs> so fast, so quick. Um, and he was like, the Thank only you. thing is he wants to see you in two days. And it was like the middle oh. of the wedding and I was like, you know, I, I just, I, I can't, I can't, I'm not really, really it was, husband. yeah, yeah <laughs> I either get no husband or a job, you know, so he waited, luckily it was two extra days and I got back and we, we sat down and had a meeting, we just hit it off as, yeah. just as people and then did an audition that I actually thought stank pretty well and, and did not think that I got stank. it. <laughs> and I don't think it could. Funnily enough, yeah, I mean, he saw something in it and I was, so extremely happy because I yeah. just finished reading the novel and I just thought, oh my God, how could I have said no at my wedding? My <laughs> husband could wait. <laughs> hey, Carla, what about you? You're hardly an obvious choice to play anybody's I know. mother. Uh, so. it was, yeah. You know what? It was really strange. Um, uh, Zach is an Entourage fan, actually, um, amongst other things. And they had said, you know, Zach knows your work and loves it and would love to meet with you for this role and uh, fly up Vancouver and, and that's where, because they were prepping and everything. And I read, I read the script, and I read the graphic novel because I knew of it, but I hadn't read it. And, um, and I also was like, I called my agents, and I said, I, I so would love to go have this meeting, but I'm confused. Are you sure that he wants to hire someone this young? Or I, I don't quite understand, because certainly in the graphic novel, we also don't have the title sequence even, yeah. so there's, there's even less of younger Sally. And then I went up, and, uh, and he said, I know, I know, I need to explain. He said, you know, I really want to really show her in her prime, so mm -hmm. that we know what she's lost, so that we know why she pushes Laurie into it. We know sort of that the glory days are gone, and if we don't really have them, then it doesn't resonate as deeply mm -hmm. with an audience. So, um, I mean, so when you sit with Zach, it's like in about three seconds, it was like, well, I'm in. I mean, I of mean, course, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. And then to have the opportunity to play this role, um, that's the other thing is that uh, I've never been asked to do something like this, and it was such an amazing experience. And was, was there any trepidation for any years before? I don't know, it's obviously a huge movie, it's a huge novel, but it's such a pedantic fan base, it's a crazy yeah, fan yeah, base. Yeah. Was there any trepidation at all before signing on for the role, and have you kept track of the online craziness <laughs> that's been going on? Uh, there was definitely no no question for me. I wanted mm. to do it, absolutely. And I think that sort of the, the, the biggest um, conviction was because Zach himself is a huge fan yeah. so you know that you have the yeah. best man at the helm leading you through it and that was that was sort of it for me I just thought okay well if anyone can do it then it's gonna be Zach and and you know the fans really had a lot of trust in Zach from 300 already mm -hmm. so that's such a nice bonus um, but no I mean once you, when you read the script and you read the novel and you see how faithful they were to each other yeah. it, it just you know that also helped because then you knew that all right you're doing it as, as close as you possibly can you know for it being an adaptation so was, was anybody worried that the fans would be looking at the characters with a magnifying glass going, they kind of they will be. Yeah, they're going to do that anyway, yeah. yeah. I mean, I but think, yeah. Well, no. they're, 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 yeah, <laughs> go. You got it, really. No, I want you to. No, I'm, I can't wait for what you're going to say. <laughs> um, I think the fact that you, the, all you can do is really concentrate on your work. And I, I, I think we would have gotten more caught up in the, the buzz of it all if, if the characters weren't, um, you know, if, if they were two-dimensional, or yeah. then you're sort of your mind can wander. But it, honestly, as soon as you sort of get in the suit or your costume or whatever it mm -hmm. is, 
you know, these are very, very complex human issues mm -hmm. that we're dealing with. So that sort of all goes out the window because uh, you, you, that stuff doesn't really do any good. It, it, it doesn't really help with your day-in-day mm -hmm. day work. So it, at least if you can just be true to the graphic novel and to the script, then in a weird way, nobody can take that away from you because mm -hmm. you're like, well, you know what? I yeah. did my homework and I did it. That's all yeah. you can do. The best you and, can do. And I yeah. also think that, that because that was sort of where we were starting, we knew that it was going to be really faithful. We knew that was important to everybody. And Zach was really open to all of our ideas of like, oh, there's this one line that was important that's in the graphic novel. That he was like, yeah, let's get it in. I mean, it was such a, but in addition to that, it is its own medium, you know, and it is a film. And so I think what then the intention becomes is let's make the best film we can make yeah. and, and have it not be something that's just sort of trying to copy something, but actually find the spirit of it and bring it to the screen. And so, and Zach has such a strong spirit, um, you know, and, and so that was, I think that was also what was great is it was an exciting creative environment as opposed to looking at it from the outside trying to figure out how it was going to be perceived mm -hmm. um, because it, we right. knew we wanted to do something that was... You know. And what kind of influence is that on set? Because he's juggling so many balls at the same time, such a, yeah. such a big production. And there's so much going on with the movie character-wise, as well as the action. Well, I, 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 yeah, I, we don't know how he does it, but no. I, <laughs> when he was there, and it, never did he feel, did it feel like he was scattered or, mm -hmm. or the, the, hold on, I got many yeah. other things going on. I mean, his mind is moving so mm -hmm. quick that, but any time, even the small scenes that felt like you were just doing a play or something, mm -hmm. it was for that moment, for that day, yeah, for this shot, present. right there. You and know? I think now, he works as as it, that way. Yeah. You know, I think that's the type that's true. he is. You know, some people just work when they go, 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 go. And then, you know, the, the second he, he, we call that's a wrap for the rest of the day, you just see all his energy just disappear and go, okay, mm -hmm. it's time for bed. Because he went, I mean, mm -hmm. he really was our Superman. And his yeah. energy was insatiable. I mean, it never ended for six months straight. It was unbelievable. Right. Yeah. Our fearless leader, for yeah. sure. <laughs> okay, what about training-wise for this? Because I, mean, I know you've done a lot of comedy before and then you've got comedy coming after, but Patrick, you had to put on weight as well for the role. Mm -hmm. So how do you go with like training really hard for the fight sequences and then putting on kind of what's supposed to be flab, I suppose? Yeah, I mean, it, it was funny because we, we all sort of trained in different ways and had different regiments and yeah. Melon had actually started you know, even a month prior than, than we all did. And then once we got there, the hard thing for me was exactly that of, of uh, trying to get in fighting shape or at least able to do all the moves and then not hurt yourself and then know how to stretch and all that stuff. And then putting on about 25 mm -hmm. pounds was, um, or you know, about 20 pounds, that it, it became difficult to sort of keep it on. And then I remember getting sick once. And so for, in about four days, I lost about six pounds and I could see it in my face. And I was so angry because that- <laughs> like, you like straight, so straight yeah, to don't get the hardest thing. I need to sort this out straight away. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well guys, I really appreciate taking the time to speak to you. I really sure. enjoyed the movie. Thank Thanks a million. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Guys, good luck with the movie. I loved it. Thank, Thank you. you.